Good afternoon everybody. This is our second video that's going to be for you to practice while I'm away in February 2023. Um, this is going to be a gentle practice so you can practice this anytime whether it's morning, afternoon or evening um, but it will be a really nice gentle practice so if you're a little bit tired a little bit achy this will be a really nice relaxing practice so bring your mat down on the floor or in your bedroom wherever you are find yourself some nice time where you won't be disturbed make sure you're nice and relaxed come to sitting on the mat and let's get started. So bring the hands through to heart centre. If you were to spend a few moments here, you might want to sit on a blanket or a block or even a cushion just to lift those hips up so you're nice and comfortable. So if you find that your knees are quite high up and your lower back is arched, bring the hips up, sit on a block or a blanket and just let those knees relax. You do not have to have knees crossed or ankles crossed you can have the legs out in front or if kneeling is better for you you can come to kneeling we're just going to take a few moments just to find our spot find our breath so options are to bring those hands to your heart center bring the hands into the lap or rest those hands facing up to the sky gently tucking the chin from the crown of the head to the sky, shoulders directly above the head. And then begin to close the eyes and shut them. Softly tuning into the breath. And breathing in and out through the nose. moment here to notice where the breath is landing within the body. Maybe that breath is coming high in the chest, coming to the mid belly or all the way down to the belly. Doesn't matter where, just become aware. And then begin to deepen that breath, breathing in and out through the nose. With the exhale, letting the shoulders come away from the ears. And then maybe if you're coming to work with mudras today, or if you're used to working with mudras, then you're still going to bring your fingers together. Try it and error. Have a little bit of grinding in this gentle practice we're going to do today. Suitable for all levels. Softly beginning to turn inward. Listening to the breath. Really taking note of what's going on on the inside. What can you feel? Where can you feel it? Maybe you've had a busy day and you're practicing this in the evening before bed. Or maybe this is just a nice gentle calming practice for you throughout the day. nice long smooth deep breath and 
listen to some Ismail music to half back to see if in YouTube. So if you want some nice stuff of music in the background, do feel free. As long as you can hear me, you might want to put some earbuds in, you might want to put some headphones on while you do your practice. It might help you to focus. Remember you can put this on your TV as well, it doesn't have to be on a computer or an iPod. I'm going to take five more breaths here. We're going to do this in silence, so please take your time. breath here. In the end, as you exhale gently, you're going to open the eyes. Bringing the hands through to heart centre, working with our affirmation today, I am calm. Centering the knees from both hands down to earth and inhaling your right arm all the way up to the sky, just so you're mirroring me, bringing that hand all the way across to the left here and then gently and softly, just spreading really out, head to heel. Let that left shoulder melt away from the ear. No pulling or pushing, just let it go. Nice and soft, let gravity do the work. Just let that shoulder release. That side neck begin to lengthen. Take a breath here. When you exhale, turn to look to earth. Bringing that hand maybe just a little bit towards the back of the head. You'll feel that stretch begin to move. No rush. Keeping the chin tucked in, release those fingers down to earth and then bring that chin centre to chest. Take an inhale, both hands up to sky. Nice and long through those shoulders, cross the hands together and turn those hands inside out and find some length. It doesn't matter if the legs are crossed, sat outside or you're kneeling like me. And then begin to release them. Taking an inhale, bringing that opposite arm, the left hand, all the way up. And all the way over to that big right heel. And then begin to melt. Let that shoulder melt away from the ear. Take a deep, deep breath. Let gravity do its work, no pulling needed, no pushing, just let the weight of the hand help to lengthen through that side neck. Feel free to close the eyes here if that feels good for you. Remembering that the breath can always go slower and it can always go longer. On your next exhale, turn and tilt the head towards the earth, looking towards the ground and bring that hand towards the back of the head and just let that back neck begin to lengthen. Nice and long in the body. One more breath here. Keeping the head and the chin where it is, release those hands down to earth and then rock that chin all the way forward. And then begin to find your half moon. So coming all the way around, bringing the right ear to the right shoulder and the left ear all the way through to the left shoulder. Just looking nice and slow in that neck, beginning to release. Notice where you feel this. Notice 
Is there any word that feels a little bit tight, a little bit restrictive? And then maybe feel free to just hang out there. Maybe bob slowly forwards and back over that side there. Do you? Maybe hang out there for a few seconds. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. And if it feels good for you, maybe begin to take full circles with the head this time. Nice and long. Releasing through. Coming all the way back. And then when you're ready, reverse in that circle. All the way around. Do two more like that, whichever way you need. So if you need to do one, one way, and then reverse and go the opposite way, that's all good. And when you're ready, bring that chin to chest, take an inhale here. When you exhale, tuck that chin a little bit tighter into the chest, feel that stretch behind the neck. Gently bring both hands all the way up to sky, maybe taking your gaze up with you. And bring those hands through to heart center. Beautiful, let those shoulders soften. If you're on your knees and it's still comfortable, stay here. If you want to come down and bring those legs out in front, feel free. Or if you want to cross the ankles, that's also an option. So whichever feels good for you. We're going to gently begin to lift the heart. So straightening the arms, lift the heart, look up to sky on your inhale. On your exhale, let the shoulders curl, draw the belly in, really tuck the chin. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, release, draw the belly in, let those shoulder blades come apart. Inhale, you might feel really stiff in the body here. That's okay, exhale. Inhale, draw that heart forward, open up through the neck, through the thyroid gland, the throat chakra, exhale. Inhale, and find a little flow with your breath, whatever feels good for you. Inhaling on the way up, exhaling on the way down. Begin to relax your face, take the seriousness out of your practice. Remember there's no right or wrong, everybody's body is different. Take an inhale, lift two more. Exhale, come as far back as comfortable for you. Last time, inhale, big breath. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Send those legs all the way out in front, wherever you are, if you're kneeling, cross-legged, uncross and send those legs all the way out in front. Draw the belly in, sit nice and tall, bring those hands down to side body. Bring those toes in towards you and push those heels away. Nice and long in the spine, so the more you push into the hands, the more space you're gonna find between those shoulder blades. Take an inhale and push into earth. Exhale, but stay tall. Draw the belly button in. One more breath here. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Take an inhale up to sky all the way. Stroke the plant as you go. Exhale, fold. Soften the knees. They don't have to be straight. Take hold behind the calves, the ankles, the toes, wherever feels good for you. And then take an inhale and lengthen. Remember, knees are bent. Exhale, fold all the way over. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Fold here. Release the grip on the toes, the feet, the ankles, and then begin to slowly uncurl. Really nice and long. Sit nice and tall in the body. Bring those feet in, cross the ankles and come all the way over to all fours. 
you're going to take those knees out wide from those big toes together and you're going to settle down into your child's pose let those hips come all the way down towards the ankles lengthen through remember this is a gentle practice so let those elbows melt into earth let the shoulders soften beautiful bring that forehead down to earth if it doesn't come down to earth bring two fists in like patty cake patty cake Rest your third eye between the eyebrows and the fist. You can even rest your head on a cushion if that feels good for you. You can even put a cushion underneath the bottom behind the knees. That sometimes helps. But let those shoulders and those elbows relax. Take a deep breath in. Into the belly and then sigh away through the mouth. Let it go. Let it go. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. One more, just like that. Exhale. Nice and long. You can just push the hands into earth, float the head, come all the way up to all fours. Bringing those hands in under the shoulders, draw the belly in. So you're going to just draw that belly button towards the back of the spine. Send the tailbone away from the crown of the head and really ground in earth through those fingers and those hands. Take an inhale, send that right leg out behind and just push those little toes into the earth and begin to rock forwards and back, just working through that ankle joint. Maybe feel free to go all the way around in a circle. Remember you're coming over the wrists as well, so you're just going to warm those wrists, warm those ankles, maybe reverse that circle, bringing the toes into the posture as well, so you're nice and mobile in the toes, those ankles, those wrists, beautiful, come back to centre, nice, release that right knee down to earth and slide those left toes all the way out along the back, push into that left heel. Rock forwards over the wrists, over the toes. Come forwards and back, just releasing through. No need to go any further, any deeper. Feel free to now maybe find that circle with the ankle, with the wrist. Coming all the way around. Maybe reversing that circle just to bring those wrists into practice those ankles and those toes, beautiful, nice, come back to centre, inhale, exhale, release that knee all the way down, maybe give those hips a little rock from side to side, maybe nodding the head, finding a circle, I can't go round too much with my head, it always makes me a little bit dizzy, so feel free to make a big circle with the rib cage coming all the way around, bringing the whole movement into the body. Remember, if you're struggling to hear me on this video, I'm not sure how it is. Put your earbuds in. You might need to sellotape them to your ears so they don't fall out if you're anything like me. But just bring that body all the way around. Find that manipulation in the spine and let that body begin to wake up. Let that spine begin to find a little bit of lubrication, a little bit of mobility. When you're ready, come back to centre, draw the belly button in and push that mat away, tuck the toe and gently just float the knees just an inch. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale, release the knees and tuck the toes. Come back to child's pose. Keep the elbows lifted so our arms are a little bit engaged. Push the fingertips, the heels of the hands down to earth. Take an inhale, come all the way up. Find your diagonal and then begin to melt to earth. Finding a baby cobra, look forward, elbows in. Push the pubis bone down into earth and release. Push the mat all the way away, come all the way up, tuck the toes, float the knees, let that pelvic floor, that lower belly engage, take a breath here. Exhale, release the knees, untuck the toes, child's pose, come all the way back. 
beautiful take an inhale tuck the chin out to the shoulders as you come all the way up find your diagonal draw those elbows in let them brush the side of the ribs as you come all the way down take an inhale elbows in pubis bone down to earth exhale release push the mat away come all the way up to all fours tuck the toes float the knees take a breath here Exhale, release and tuck the toes, child pose. Beautiful. Bring those hands behind to the side of the body this time. Let the shoulders release, the wrists release. Maybe if it feels good, bring those hands behind you and clasp the hands together. Maybe. If that feels okay for the shoulders, roll the shoulders up towards the ears. Rotate them back and open that heart maybe float the hands a couple of inches up off the hips behind you take a breath here exhale release those hands all the way down unclench the hands and bring those hands all the way forward lift the head out through the shoulders this time you're going to come all the way forward melt to earth draw those elbows in push the top of the feet into earth and lift into your cobra beautiful exhale release push the mat away come back to all fours tuck the toes float the knees take a breath here inhale and then tilt those hips all the way up to the sky and come into your first downward dog maybe walk those feet towards the hands if it feels good find your downward dog so if it's better for you to have wide feet on the mat take them wide same with the hands go to wherever feels good for you and then begin to melt doesn't matter if you look towards your toes or towards the hands if you look between the thumbs you're going to open those shoulder blades that little bit wider but it's a little bit more intense so you choose maybe nod the head forwards and back side to side remember this is a gentle practice take a deep breath here look forward Bend the knees and tippy toe all the way up to the top of the mat, come into your forward fold. Bend those knees, tuck the chin and maybe take hold of opposite elbows with opposite hands. Find that little rock from side to side, if it feels good for you. Now hopefully in this video I'm planning not to chop my head off, so fingers crossed you'll be able to see me this time. These videos might get better by the day in the technology department. It's not the best thing I've ever done, but you know. Anybody out there who's a tech quiz or has a husband, a partner, a friend who's good at technology, let me know. We can work together maybe. Pause, find stillness, take a breath here. Oh, exhale, release through the breath. Let those arms release the floor. Bend the knees and begin to ragdoll all the way up, grounding through all four corners of the feet. Remember today is about grounding and earthing. It's a gentle practice. It can be done any time. Take those hands up to the sky. Yeah, you can still see me. We're going to bring those palms together. We're going to soften the knees and we're going to come all the way through heart centre. All the way down to earth. Take an inhale, hands to shins, lengthen, don't lock the knees out. Exhale, fold. Beautiful. Soften the knees, take those hands wide, ground and rise, ground and rise, come all the way up. Take the gaze with you, stroke the palms as you go. Exhale through heart centre, maybe touching the third eye with the thumbs, the throat chakra and the heart as you melt towards earth. Take an inhale, lengthen into your flat back, hands to shins, thighs or toes, exhale. Beautiful, last time, ground and rise, come all the way up to the sky. Nice and long, push into those big toes, palms at the top, palms together, take an inhale. And then open out, hips forward, take that right hand back, take your gaze with you to look over that right thumb behind. Hips facing forward, take an inhale, come all the way up to centre. Exhale, release all the way through heart centre, all the way down to earth. Take an inhale, ground and rise, bring those hands all the way up, just warming through that body. 
Take the gaze with you, palms together. On your exhale, hips forward, turn and let that left thumb come behind, right hand forward, nice and gentle twist, take an inhale, come up to sky. And in a nice gentle flow as you melt towards the earth, beautiful. Take an inhale, ground and right, straightening to resolve slides a little more, this time bring the palms together. Clasp the hands, send the index finger to sky, look out to the horizon and then melt towards the right hand side, lengthening through that left hand side, inhale to sky. Exhale, switch, maybe take the gaze to the sky underneath that right arm, inhale all the way, lift, exhale, fold all the way, swan dive all the way down to earth, take an inhale into your flat back. Exhale, fold, plant hands and step all the way back, both legs, right leg, left leg, come into your plank, maybe lower the knees here on the toes, remember it's a gentle practice. Draw those elbows, so the face forward, opening through those shoulder blades behind, push the index finger and the thumb down, take an inhale and float your feet up behind towards your bottom. Exhale, release. Bend the elbows like the muscle side of the body as you come all the way down. Take an inhale, loop here, and then take a gentle twist and turn to look to your right little toe. Exhale, come back to centre. Beautiful. Inhale, elbows in, lift into twisting cobra to the left hand side. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Push up onto the knees. Come back to all fours, take an inhale, float those toes to the bottom. Exhale, release, tuck the toes, float the hips, downward dog. Well done, maybe paddle through your downward dog here. Just sending those heels away. Nice and long, give the body there's no rough. Maybe drawing the pelvic floor in, pushing into those hands, tuck the chin, melt the heart. Pause at centre here, take a deep, deep breath here. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step all the way up to the front of the mat. Beautiful, bring those toes together, bring those heels together. Take those hands wide, soften the knees as you come all the way up to standing. Beautiful. So we come into that little twist, bring the right hand back, left hand forward, feet and knees are together this time. Take an inhale all the way up to sky. Exhale, switch inside, hips forward. Beautiful, high plant, inhale, lift. Exhale, bring those hands through to heart centre, let those shoulders soften, bring those thumbs into the breastbone. Take a moment here to come back to our affirmation for today. Take an inhale. I am calm. Big rotation of those hands, inhale all the way to sky. Exhale, swan dive all the way. Inhale into your flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, step all the way back to your plank. Take a breath here. Exhale, lower the right knee, just the right knee. Float the left knee up behind the left foot and push into that left heel. Draw the belly in, but drop that left hip a little bit so you're nice and even. Take an inhale here. Maybe slide those right fingers forward so you're leaning on those right fingers. Don't sink too much into that left side. If this is enough for you, you're going to work here. This is perfect for your pelvic floor, your core. If you want to come a little bit further, maybe draw that hand up into your balance. Take a breath here. Exhale, knee and elbow together underneath the body. Inhale, lengthen. If your hand is on the floor, you're just going to draw that knee into the belly towards the chin. Inhale, lift. Exhale, last time, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Well done, beautiful. Take a breath here and float that right leg up behind. Again, this might be enough for you, it's fine, this is your practice. You do not have to do the full 
extended version of any asana, push into that right heel, drop that right hip so it's nice and parallel to earth. Slide that left hand back onto those fingertips, perfectly fine, take a breath here. Bring that knee into chest, tuck the chin all the way. Use the breath, inhale, lengthen, maybe float that hand. Maybe exhale, elbow and knee together underneath the body, bring it in a squeeze. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow or knee to chest. Last time, inhale. Exhale, release. Release that hand, release that knee and give those hips a little rock from side to side. Beautiful. Really nice and long here. And then begin to shimmy those knees forward towards the wrists, cross the ankles behind and come all the way over to seated. Take those legs out in front, push into those heels, draw the belly in, sit nice and tall. Take those hands up to start. And then begin to fold all the way, just like we did at the beginning. Arms don't have to come to feet, they can come to ankle, they can come to knees. You can be up here. The idea is the spine is nice and long. So wherever your spine is long, that's where you'll stay. This is only a shorter practice today. So we're coming into wards or relaxation. So just pause here, take a deep breath in. Exhale, release, slide those hands all the way up, a bit of a self-massage. If you've been to my detox day, my detox retreat, you might be doing some body brushing, which will be really nice. If you've not been to my retreat yet, please do book on the next one, which is the 1st of April. It's all about gut health. So it's all about health as well as yoga. Take those shoulders up towards the ears and down the back. Draw those hands to the side of the body exactly where we started. Push those heels away, draw those toes in. Take a breath here, push into the hands, lift the body and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, release the weight of those elbows. Remember if you do want to come to a detox retreat or a health retreat, inhale those hands all the way to sky. We do have accommodation also here in Devon, so you're more than welcome to come and stay with us as well. Take a breath here. Exhale, melt to earth. We're going to stay here for three breaths, that's all. Inhale. Okay. So we close the eye here. Your last breath here. Keep that spine nice and long. And release those hands, walk them all the way back. Begin to bend the knees, sit nice and tall. We're going to come down towards lying on your back. So just shuffle that bottom forward if you need to. So you've got space behind you, bring those palms facing up to sky. We're going to work a little bit on the core as we go all the way down. Take a deep breath here. And then we're going to melt halfway, fall to the earth. Take an inhale, lift to sky, maybe send those hands all the way up. Your choice. Exhale, halfway. You know we like a bit of core work. Inhale, lift to sky. Exhale, release. We're going to pause here, but remember, don't hold your breath. Take a deep breath here. And on your exhale, you're going to come another halfway. Another halfway. The toes might float up, that's okay. No rules, take a breath. And then begin to release all the way down to earth. Let those legs come all the way out. Beautiful. Take those hands up and out behind you. Clasp the hands together, turn them inside out. Push the heels away and take a full body stretch. Nice and long. Beautiful, and then bring those knees into chest one at a time. Just give yourself a really beautiful big hug. Bring those shoulders, the head, the neck up and down. Beautiful, and release down to 
our Shavasana today. Bring those palms facing up to the sky. Let those toes fall like so. And then begin to settle into your Shavasana. Take a deep breath into the belly here. And sigh away through the mouth. We're going to do this together. Take an inhale through the nose. Hold at the top. Hold. Exhale, let it go. One more. Make this the biggest breath of the whole day. Take a deep, deep breath in here through the nose. Pause at the top and hold. 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 Take another breath in. Deep, deep breath. Beautiful. Hold. Exhale, let it go. Closing the eyes. And let the body release down to earth. Remembering in these practices, Shavasana is always the most important posture. So don't skip your Shavasana. Stay here for as long as is perfect for you. At least five minutes if you have that time to give to yourself. So just begin to surrender to your Shavasana. We're going to bring those hands together at heart centre. You stay exactly where you are. Or if you've not got a lot of time today, maybe bring those hands to heart centre. Maybe bring those feet in towards the bottom. Lower that lower back into earth. Take a deep breath in. And let's finish this practice with our affirmations. I am calm today. Going now there onto whichever side is perfect for you. Slowly coming up to seated. And then you can pause your video in Shavasana if you want to stay here. From my heart to your heart, please do comment at the bottom. Let me know what you think of your practices. Or if you have any requests for us to animate, I will endeavour to help. Maybe we'll do some meditation. From my heart to your heart, much health, much wealth, much love. Namaste. Thank you. Have a lovely evening or a lovely day. And that's a bit close, isn't it? Take care and I will see you soon. Bye.